at this picture of a unique rock. The name of this rock is Devil's Tower. The altitude of this rock tower is 264 meter from its base. This rock tower is situated in United States. This was formed when magma forced its way into the earth's surface and it was obstructed by a hard layer of rock and led to this formation. So this is a remnant of a volcanic intrusion which has now been exposed by weathering and erosion. So this natural rock tower is an example of a landform formed by a volcano. So now let's see how landforms are formed by volcano. During volcanic eruption, streams of molten rocks called lava flows out and spreads over the earth's surface. Now lava gradually condensifies on reaching the earth's surface because the temperature here is comparatively lower. So the landforms that are formed due to solidification of lava on the earth's surface are called extrusive landforms. Now, these extrusive landforms have different shapes and structure. The first type of extrusive landform is cinder cone. If lava comes out through a single crack or vent and the volcanic materials condense and solidify surrounding this crack, then a cone shaped structure is formed and this is known as cinder cone. Now, Another type of extrusive landform is composite cone. If lava and volcanic materials comes out through multiple cracks and solidify to form a cone, then it is known as composite cone. In this picture, we can see that lava and ashes comes out through two cracks. So this picture shows a composite cone. During volcanic eruption, when lava and other volcanic materials comes out of the earth's surface in huge pressure, then a massive depression is formed on the earth's surface and this is known as caldera. So in this picture, we can see a circular depression created by a volcano and this is caldera. If lava flows far away from the opening or vent, then it forms lava shield. So lava shields are formed when lava is less viscous and more fluid. So they flow far away from the central point and gradually solidify to form lava shield. Now we know during fissure volcanic eruptions, eruptions occur at different time intervals and during this fissure eruption, lava solidifies in successive sheets and forms a plateau and the plateau thus formed is called a lava plateau. So this is a picture of a lava plateau and here the plateau has been formed due to condensation of lava in successive sheets. Now, this picture shows different extrusive landforms. Now, the word extrusive comes from the word ex exterior. Thus, all these landforms are formed on the earth's surface and therefore they are called extrusive landforms. As discussed earlier, composite cone is an extrusive landform. Here, lava and other volcanic materials comes out through multiple cracks. Cinder cones are formed if lava comes out through a single opening. Another form of extrusive landform is lava plateau. Lava plateau is formed when lava condensify in successive sheets. This part of the picture shows lava shield. Lava shield is formed when lava spreads far away from the central point. Finally, we have caldera. Caldera is the circular depression caused by a volcano. Now before we move on, let us try to answer this. A massive depression formed due to a volcanic eruption is called lava plateau, caldera, magma or lava shield. 
Well, the correct answer is caldera. It is the depression created by a volcano. Sometimes magma condenses in the cracks of the Earth's interior just before a volcanic eruption. The condensation of magma below the Earth's surface leads to the formation of intrusive landforms. Now, intrusive landforms are of different types. Let's learn about them. If magma solidifies in horizontal sheets or less, then sill is formed. See, in this picture, this is a seal because here we can see that magma solidifies in horizontal layers. Now, if magma solidifies in vertical cracks while escaping through them, then dikes are formed. So, in this picture, this is a dike. Here we can see that magma solidifies in vertical cracks. A dome-shaped magma chamber present in the Earth's interior is called lacolith. This extends, lacoliths extend over a small region. In this picture, this dome-shaped magma represents lacolith. If a huge magma chamber is found at depth, then it is known as batholith. See, in this picture, this huge mass of magma spread over a wide region is batholith. So, these are the different types of intrusive landforms. They are sill, dike, lacolith and batholith. So, in today's video, we learnt about different types of landforms formed by a volcano. They are primarily of two types, extrusive and intrusive. Extrusive landforms are formed at the Earth's surface, while intrusive landforms are formed below the Earth's surface. In our next video, we will study about distribution and importance of volcanoes. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one-to-one -one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5,000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step-by-step -step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now